On July 29, 2022, the FBI violently raided seven homes and offices of the Uhuru movement, including the North St. Louis home of Chairman Omali Ishitela. The Uhuru movement is responsible for creating numerous community programs through the Black Power Blueprint in North St. Louis. The City of St. Louis Police Department cooperated with the July 29th FBI raids on the chairman's house and three other properties. In January of 2023, 18th Ward Alderman Jesse Todd submitted to the Public Safety Committee the Dred Scott Sanctuary City Resolution, calling on the city to refuse to cooperate with the FBI and federal agencies in attacks on Black community organizers working to uplift the community. The purpose of the uh, Dred Scott Resolution is to make the city of St. Louis a sanctuary city in which the St. Louis Police Department and city government will refuse to cooperate with the FBI and any other federal agency to attack Black community organizers and members for charges stemming from work for the betterment and uplifting of the uh, of their community. So that's the purpose. Some aldermen expressed their support for the programs of the Black Power Blueprint and called for a second hearing with the representative of the FBI and police department to hold them accountable. Uh, for those members of this committee who are not close to that north side area, uh, all the work that is being done there is extremely well done. Uh, I probably stop by most especially during the summer months when there's a lot of activity almost every Saturday that there is something going on. The chair of the committee called on the clerk to contact the FBI and police. So what I would say is if you could reach out to them and we are open to a, you know, I'm open to having a, a public safety meeting based off of when they can make it. Okay, I will uh, so note it and I'll give that to Clerk Kennedy but, but to schedule was... it when they're available. A second hearing was held on February 8th, where 22 individuals and organizations testified in support of the resolution. For the majority of my 81 years of life on this planet, I have fought here in the United States for the upliftment of African people from the ubiquitous horrors stemming from the original sin of U.S. domestic colonialism. You can say the spirit of this body, see, sometimes that helps a lot. The spirit of this body is that you should not cooperate with people who are violating the human rights of people to live in peace and move about peacefully in their neighborhoods. This city resolution is an opportunity for, for redemption to take a step in making right the acts of oppression that have been committed against the Black community here in the city of St. Louis. That same day, the chair of the Public Safety Committee lied and claimed it was Alderman Todd's responsibility to have called the FBI and police, something he wouldn't have had the power to do. Okay, and then uh, Alderman Todd, I believe at the last meeting, they asked that you would reach out to the police and FBI to have them come. Have you reached out to either one? I understand about your role as chairman. Right. And my understanding from our last meeting was that you were going to, it came up, and I don't want to call people's name because I don't want to get into personalities. It came up from some of the committed people that we needed to invite the police right. and the FBI. My understanding was you said you would get in touch with them. No, I did not say that. Well, I'm not going to... Uh, well, we had... It's a tape. Everybody can it. shake their head however they want it. It's a tape. Although initially the committee had a quorum to vote, the majority of the aldermen dropped out before a vote was held, and even those who stayed were too cowardly to vote for it. Okay, I believe that is all the speakers. Um, before I go through the committee, I want to do a quorum call because it seems like we keep dropping off and picking up. I don't even know if we still have a quorum. Why were the aldermen complicit with the vicious FBI and police attacks on one of the few organizations creating community programs, something the city has never done? This is not over. New York City District 42 Councilman Charles Barron 
will sponsor this resolution in the New York City Council. Donate to fund the legal defense for Chairman Omali Eshetela and others facing indictment and arrest by the FBI on bogus charges, a continuation of COINTELPRO. Handsoffuhuru.org slash donate. Thank you.